can apply the same logic in this condition and try to find the method of decompressing the numbers table. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding find median given frequency of numbers. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay. Also, this question has been asked in companies like Apple and Pinterest a couple of times. So, kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called numbers with two different columns, number and frequency. Number is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table shows the frequency of a number in the database. The median is the value separating the higher half from the lower half of a data sample. We are asked to write a solution to report the median of all numbers in the database after decompressing the numbers table. So this is very important. We need to decompress the numbers table, round the median to one decimal place. Let, let's go through this example. Here we have four different numbers, 0, 1, 2 and 3 and their frequencies are different. So how do we calculate the median? Basically you need to write 0, 7 times, then 1, 1 time, 2, 3 times and 3, 1 time. So in total there would be 8 plus 3, 11 plus 1, 12. So in total 12 numbers. So the median will be the average of 6th and 7th number and 6th will be 0, 7th will be 0 as well. So, so average of 0 and 0 is 0 and that is what we have in our output. So, since this question says that we need to decompress the numbers table first, how can we do that? Remember, we learned about recursive common table expressions in a number of questions. The, the latest one being a question where we were trying to look at the hierarchy of CEO. So, if I switch to Excel, so this was the question and where we learned about recursive common table expression, what's an anchor member, recursive member termination condition. You can apply the same logic in this condition and try to find the method of decompressing the numbers table. How can we do that is, firstly, this is what the numbers table looks like, right? Number 0 occurs 7 times, 1, 1 times and so on. These are the three important aspects of a recursive common table expression. You need to have an anchor member. That means a starting query that initializes the re recursion. We need to have a recursive member, a query that references the CT itself. And then there should be a termination condition that ensures the recursion stops. Okay. So, what I mean by an anchor number is, if we write something like width recursive CTE as and select one as number. So, it will make a common table expression called CTE and have a value 1 in the number column. Now, the second past aspect is a recursive member. So, basically a query that references itself. So, right now you have a CTE which has a column called number which has one value 1. Then, if we do this, so here what is it is going to happen is select number plus 1 from common table expression. Right now you have common table expression number is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So 1 union all 2 and this is what you are going to get. Now this will keep on repeating right. So if a second time it happens so it will be number 2 plus 1 that is 3. So this is what you are going to get. But if you think about it if you do not stop this it is going to go on till infinity. So that is where you need to have a termination condition that, that ensures the recursion stops. So what we are going to do is let's have a termination condition which says that where your number is less than return me the maximum frequency from the numbers. Why I am doing this is for example if you look at the maximum frequency from the numbers table it is 7. So there is no number that will be occurring more than 7 times because this is the maximum time any number occurs in the numbers table. So, if you look at this, how is this going to have the termination? Suppose number was 6. So, number is 6. So, 6 plus 1 is 7 from this common table expression where number, number is 6. So, 6 is less than 7. So, obviously it will add up till 7. But now the number becomes 7 and 7 is not less than 7. So, it will not add 8 and it will stop till 7 right so this is where you have the termination of this recursive common table expression why are we going to do this is because we can use this common table expression to actually decompress the numbers table right firstly let me go ahead and write until this so what we did was we need to have with recursive common table expression as and then what we are going to do is firstly we need to have an anchor member, right? So anchor 
returned me a value one as the name of the column number then you need to do union all then you need to have a recursive part right so recursive member basically what you are going to do is return me number plus one from the common table expression and then you need to have a termination condition right so termination condition is basically where your number is less than return me the maximum frequency from the numbers table so from numbers table okay now if i go ahead and run this right so let me just do select star from this common table expression so so if we look at our output this is what we get you have number one through seven and this is exactly the same thing that we have here okay now what we need to do is we need to decompress the numbers table remember this is very important you need to decompress the numbers table what we can do is let me have that so this is what we have in the numbers table and this is what the common table expression that we just created now just look at it how simple this becomes if you join these two tables so numbers and ct on if your frequency is greater than equal to the number then you perform a join so look at this you need 0 7 times how can you do this is if 7 is greater than 1 yes so row 1 7 is greater than 2 yes row 2 and so on so it will perform join with all the seven numbers and it will have zero seven times so you see how you are going to decompress the numbers table using the common table expression that we just created using recursive common table expression so what we are going to do is from the numbers table right so from the numbers table alias as n let us perform a left join on the common table expression alias as c and how we are going to perform the join is on n dot frequency is greater than equal to c dot number and let us return the n dot number from it let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so now if you look at this you have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 times 1 1 times 2 3 times and 3 1 times so now you have a decompressed numbers table right now what you need is you need to now go ahead and get the median so to get the median firstly you need to rank these numbers so 1 2 3 and so on until whatever the number and have a total count because median will depend upon the total number of numbers that you have if it is even you need to have the middle two and take the average if it is odd you need to have the middle part right so what we can do is here only we can perform a ranking and we can do row number and then over just order by the n dot number column in ascending order and let's alias this as rank and then let us also perform a count of the total so let me do count star as total numbers right there is one thing missing here if i run this you are going to see that that right now you had 12 different rows right but in the output you only have one what is the problem because you did a count star of the entire thing right you need to spread it on all the rows so what you need to do is just write over clause and if i go ahead and run this this is going to fix this part so now if you look at it you have the numbers expanded numbers then you have the ranking and then you have the total number now what we can do is we can employ the rank and total number columns to get the median so firstly let us save this entire thing in another common table expression 2 so cte2 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are going to do is from this common table expression 2 let us return all the columns it currently has and then let's create a, a column called median which will have a binary values 0 or 1 which says that whether this row should be considered for calculating median or not so how can we do that is case where your total number if divided by 2 
is equal to 0. That means it is an even number just, just in this case. So, you have, you have 12 rows. So, what is going to be the median average of middle 2? That is 6th and 7th. So, then what you are going to do is then rank in. So, basically it should be middle 2. So, rank in the first thing could be total number divided by 2. Right. So, total number divided by 2. This is the first and then you need to have total number divided by 2 plus 1. So, you have total number divided by 2 plus 1. So, this is for the even case and the other possibility is there are going to be odd numbers. So, else what you do is rank is equal to total number plus 1 divided by 2 because if there are 13 rows, so it should be 7th, right? So, 13 plus 1 is 14 divided by 2 is 7, right? In this case when statement and let's alias this as, let's call this consider. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So, now if I look at this, so you see there are even rows here. So, obviously the middle 2, 6 and 7 should be considered, right? So, 1 and 1, all other rows should not be considered to calculate the median part. Okay, once we have this, then the only thing that is remaining is just keep those rows where consider is equal to 1 and calculate the average of the number column. So, what we can do is, let's save this in another common table expression CTE3 as this entire thing goes into parentheses again. And then what we are going to do is, from this common table expression 3, keep only those rows where consider is equal to 1 and in that case just take the average of the number column and then we need to round this to one decimal place as well because this is what the question asks us. So, round this to one decimal place and alias this as median as required in our output. Okay, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So, yeah, this is accepted. If I look at my output, my output is exactly same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases. So, yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So, yes, even though this solution looks lengthy, but the reason why it became lengthy is because of the reason the question asked us to decompress the numbers table. And the way we did was we use recursive common table expression to get the numbers one through the maximum times of particular number can exist that is the maximum frequency from the numbers table once we had those numbers so we performed a join on the numbers table to decompress the numbers table and then we ranked based on the number and had a to total numbers count and then what we did was we used the total numbers count and the rank column that we just calculated to get which rows should be considered to calculate the median and then we use those columns to actually calculate the median. So, yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better, more efficient channel to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.